telling you that if you don't, you'll be arrested. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Dick Marple is a military veteran, former cop, and four-term state representative from Hooksett, New Hampshire. In the summer of 2016, he was arrested on a warrant for driving with an invalid license and released on $4,000 personal recognizance. He attended an arraignment in June and challenged the court's jurisdiction, among other things, and then was later arrested while campaigning on Election Day, November 9th. Police say he failed to appear at Concord District Court to answer to charges of driving while license suspended and prohibitions regarding an allegedly invalid license. This week, Dick was back in court for a case status hearing where he let the judge have it in front of a full courtroom. That's what my mother told me I was. All right. Uh, Mr. Marble, this is scheduled for a case status no, hearing. Uh, All right. I know that you normally prefer to stay on the other side of the bench, but if you wish to come up, I, I understand that you still challenge the court's jurisdiction, but if it's easier and you think you can hear me better if you're at the table here, that's fine. I'm going to pay the table number eight. Okay, very good. I'll try and speak I, There's to a couple of things I'd like to point out. Of course, the, the seal that's above your head on the wall, that's a corporate seal. Okay, hold on just a second. And that's what we're talking about. I don't enter the corporate jurisdiction. Okay, hold on just a minute. I just want to get the record straight. Uh, this is scheduled for a case status hearing. Uh, it was scheduled for a trial back in October. You failed to appear. A warrant was issued. You were picked up on the warrant. And the case was scheduled today for a case status hearing. Um, now go ahead. I know you had a couple challenges that you wish to put on the record, so go ahead. Uh, I, you mentioned I picked up on a warrant. Uh, there were a few things that took place after the lesson, and that is I received two documents, which are under the law, presentments from the corporation doing business as the court here. This is a private corporation. In fact, the Supreme Court of this state is a private corporation operating for profit and providing a judicial service to another corporation. And that corporation has as its seal above your head and what is here, the top seal, on what I call the technical manual for legislators and judges. This is the supreme law of the land. And I'm going to refer to it uh, right now because you mentioned uh, the warrant that I was picked up on. Article 87 says former writs, that's a warrant. And I have no evidence that Article 87 was obeyed or complied with. I, uh, after being arrested, I asked, I said, where's the warrant? He said, electronic warrant. I said, what's an electronic warrant? That has no signature of the court, has no signature of the, uh, or seal of the court, has no signature for the, uh, this is a violation of Article 87. You, I still submitted to the to, to, to the arrest because. Are you referencing this, the New Hampshire Constitution when you say Article 87? Is that what you're? Article 87 is, is it, it's specific. There's no no amendment to Article 70 that I can find. So that's the New Hampshire Constitution. That's one of the one of the issues that I say is a warrant was an invalid warrant. All right. Well. So both of them. That's twice that you did it on me. We have two two issues to to discuss. First is. Whether the warrant was valid or not, all right, doesn't change right now for this proceeding, the case status, which is basically just to schedule it for trial. Now, if you have an issue with the warrant, there are certainly other avenues available, but this court can't give you any, any um, relief for the warrant piece because that's an equity argument. So what we have left here is the charges against you. We need to reschedule them for trial. Now, the argument that you just started to make is a little different than the one you made the last time that I denied your motion, basically, to deny. I didn't make a motion, ma'am. Well, I, I can't make a motion because I'm not, I haven't given you a motion. Let her first, sir. That's Don't right. interrupt her. Mr. Markle and I, Mr. Thank Markle and I have an understanding here. I, I, I understand you say you have, that you are not going to file any motions, so I will refer to them as arguments, okay? But the reality is the court has said we do have jurisdiction to hear the case of the driving without, of driving after suspension. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to give you a new trial date, 
and I recognize that you have other arguments that you wish to make, and, and the ones that you were making today about the state of New Hampshire being incorporation is different than what you've argued before. So if you wish to submit some other documents about your argument of why under that theory the court doesn't have jurisdiction, you're welcome to do so. And do we have a trial date? Yes, it's going to be on January 23rd at 1.30 p.m. All right. So, uh, Peter, can you please give this to one if you have that to write Or Jim, you can okay. And Jim, if you would please give this to Mark on his next court date. And then, Mr. Markle, I think you understand that anything that you wish to argue, you do need to put in writing, and then the state has an opportunity to respond. Well, that's exactly why I want some questions answered here. And I think there's an obligation under Article 15, because I'm an accused, I'm not a defendant. And I'm I only accused. I changed that in your And documents. you made a correction in the record. Yes, I did. Thank you. Now, this is what the documents here that I received. And you'll see, this says, criminal. Bond in a criminal case. If this is a criminal case, then you can have a jury trial. That's what this says, criminal. Now, I don't, I don't know, and that's why I said it. I'm completely confused of why I am here. And nobody is answering it. Well, sir, as we've discussed, the state of New Hampshire has charged you with a Class B misdemeanor for driving, displaying a New Hampshire license since it had been suspended, and for the violation of operating under suspension. Your trial date will be given to you, and either on, before that trial date, yeah, don't, you don't need to have them sign it, you just give it to me, please. Ms. Marble, on or before that trial date, for that trial date, any other arguments that you want to make, you need to do them in writing, then the state gets to respond, and then I will rule on them. But either way, the next court date, you're being given in hand, and that is your trial date. Thank you. Uh, you have not, you're denying right. due process. You're denying due process, madam. That's what you did the last time. You left without giving me due process. You may be seated. Okay, we have other people up here, so you're going to have to shut that down. Uh, as soon as he's done, I'll stop. No, you're going to shut it down because there's people up here who may be witnesses or victims. So you well, can shut it down now or I'm going to record whatever, whatever goes on with this channel. So. Once the judge comes back, you can. We have victims, we have defendants, and everything else. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you that if you don't, you'll be arrested. That sounds like a threat. No, it's a fact. So what are you going to do, sir? I'll stop recording because you're threatening. Whatever way you take it, please stop recording. I already stopped. Okay. Yes. Okay. We got a big problem here. I'm a security guard. <laughs> you need to file a motion with the judge. I already done that. Let me show you. Check That's been video. done. That's What's the green light for? I told you to stop recording. You can leave me alone now. Do you have the volume going on? It's not recording anything? You can leave me alone now. I'm asking your questions. I'm not answering your questions. <laughs> it's already been filed. No. It's been filed with the Secretary of State. Well, it's both of you. I'm going to it to you. No, I went to arrest her. I'm giving you. That's not happening. Oh, it's going to happen. You're going to divide your system. That's what you want to call it. Let's talk out in the hall to these people. No, we're going to talk right here. I'm going to test you with your eyes. I'm going to be going. It's a fraud. Does anyone have any paperwork for me that I gave anybody? He's going back to the judge. He's like, this is the food I want. Any comment for what you think is going to happen next? I don't know, but thanks for continuing to record that. Hell yeah. He wasn't talking to me to stop recording. <laughs> I, want, I want to show I you what's already been. No, she has not accepted something that was filed. Did he ask you to stop recording? No. I'm going to ask you to stop recording. You're not, and you're not. I was about, about to. What? Well, because you guys are being pretty uh, outrageous. I don't think so. There's other people in here that don't want their pictures taken. It's a public courtroom. 
muitos possíveis. Eu não posso. 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 Eu Pardon? Can you get the prosecutor for me? Yes, I can. Who was the prosecutor? I think it's the Merman County Attorney. Yeah. Yeah. Could you get him for me? I think she's out there talking. Well, yeah. I can bring you out to talk to her. She's out there. Yeah. Did she tell me? Yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to bring her in. You want to talk to her? She's out there. I'm not well, she's supposed to be in here prosecuting you. You don't have any prosecutor right now that I can talk to. I'm the one who's here. Then you go out and see her. No, I see her in here. She's I agree. Huh? I agree. With you. I agree. Pardon? 17 years. Oh, the latest. Hey, see what's going on. Sir, if you want a signing post, I'll listen to you, but it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> Can I, sir? I'm just a security guy. We have to see the security. Are you under arrest? No. Security or no? Follow the manual. He's just doing his job. Turn the camera off. I'm not sure right now. The courtroom starts. The judges are in on his victims and defendants, sir. You have to leave the court. Sir, do I need to call state police? Yes. Thank you. State versus Sarah Williams. Madam Magistrate, I'd like to have some clarification on what you told me relative to putting in writing what was necessary. That's already been done by a counter complaint, which I delivered to your clerk. I have a copy of it here. I also could deliver a copy of an affidavit of default on you and the clerk for your failure to respond to the submission that I made in the form of an affidavit. Now you know, if an affidavit is not, not place. I'm not going to interrupt interrupted by her. I'm speaking. And uh, when I have food, I then she can speak. Right now. You are actually interrupting another hearing right now. I understand you may want to interrupt me, but you're interrupting someone who is here for an arraignment. We had your, your status hearing. I understand you may have a question, but I'm asking only that you be respectful. If you don't want to be respectful of the court, you need to at least be respectful of everyone else in here who has court business as well. After I'm finished with everyone else, if you're filing what sounds like, I know you're not filing, if you're arguing a motion to reconsider, I will hear you after I've heard everyone else that's on the docket. Because from the court's perspective, the case status hearing with you today, what needed to be accomplished today from the court's perspective was to give you a trial date. We have given you a trial date. If you're telling me that you've filed new documents since I ruled on the argument whether that is correct that is correct i have not seen those documents i do not know if, if i have them in front of me if you would like to look at them they may very, very because you're acting without knowledge well and this isn't the, this isn't the time for us you just admitted you're acting without knowledge this is not the time to do the hearing on anything else you may wish to argue it because isn't a question of argument it's a question of presentation of fact which and you can you can arrest me for Perjury if I violated my obligation in that affidavit of truth. Right, Mr. Marshall, so let, 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 me be let me be clear about something. The court is willing to give you a full and fair hearing on any other arguments that you wish to make as far as challenging the court's jurisdiction, challenging the warrant. However, that is not now, that is not today. That, as you know, the arguments that you wish for, the arguments you wish to make, will take some time to, to be heard. The state also has the opportunity to respond in writing. So what I am simply telling you today is your, your case today, what needed to be accomplished today has been accomplished. The court is happy to schedule another hearing just for your arguments where 
I, can, I will give you my full attention. The state you will be happy to welcome to argue anything else you wish to argue. The state will have an opportunity to respond, and then I will make it a, a ruling. But uh, that can't happen. You can't make it. What I'm trying to accomplish is to have you believe that you can't make a decision when you don't have jurisdiction. My challenge is jurisdiction. In persona jurisdiction and subject matter jurisdiction. Neither one are on the record. The reason being is I filed with you and you have, have a copy of it. My oath purgatory, we went through that at the last encounter. And that oath purgatory removed me from your jurisdiction. That was done on the 15 statutes of large, chapter 249 of the United States, which you were compelled to comply with on the Article 6, Paragraph 2 of the Constitution for the United States of America. Right, that's, I, that's the Supreme Law. I have two responses. One is I did make a ruling that you had jurisdiction. You're welcome to appeal that to the Supreme Court. If you no, the Supreme that, Court had nothing to do with it. But what I'm telling you is right now I'm going to ask that you are free from making any further arguments today. Your the case status that was scheduled for today with your hearing has concluded. There is a courtroom full of people that are also legally and correctly here that, have, that their hearings need to go forward. I am happy to schedule another hearing where you will have as much time as you need to make any other arguments, but both sides need to be here. You need to be here, the prosecutor needs to be here for that. And I have to, we have to schedule that for another day. I'm going to ask you one more time and, and let you know that your hearing is over and I'm going to ask you to please be respectful of the rest of the court proceedings. You're welcome to stay here if you wish, but you may not make any arguments right now. You're welcome to make them later. You're, you're using semantic subterfuge by calling it an argument. It is not an argument. You were delivered, or I should say your secretary, your clerk was delivered, hand-delivered by me, an affidavit of default. So everything ceases because on the common versus Bowen, and I have the case right here, it is automatic a stop. So what you're suggesting, because as I waive my rights of a stop, I'm not waiving them. So there's nothing more to say. Okay, then from your standpoint, there's nothing if you, to you, say. You will, you will read the affidavits. I certainly will read anything that you file, but I have in the past and I will continue to do so. We've had two weeks to do it. I, the, I didn't even know anything else had been filed. Right? This is your case was given to me today. When you first, when we first called it, that was the first time I heard your additional arguments. Well, so, the first affidavit was filed after you made your or set out your presentments because the affidavit incorporated RSA 382A subject matter, which is fifth. It comes under the 3-501, right, which so defines which you set out. You set out presentments. Asking me to be here. I offer to come. I'm not going to argue with you. That's not an argument. It's a fact. I'm going to ask that you stop talking now. You need to proceed with the rest of the court hearings. I'm going to ask you to please be respectful and polite. I know you disagree with the court, and I am fine with that. However, you, do no, you no longer have the floor. I need to continue with the rest of the hearings. You're welcome to stay, but you cannot continue to present anything now. If you do, it's going to be considered disruptive, and I don't want that to happen. I know you do not want that to happen. I know all you want is to be heard, and I will hear That's you further. Right. And absolutely, and I, as I stated earlier, I'm happy to give you your due process, but we have to reschedule the hearing. There, this court was not prepared to hear all of your arguments today. The state was not prepared. The state has 10 days to respond to anything that you're saying. So this is going to be my last request to please be respectful. I will give you as much due process as you want. I will give you another court date. And, you can, and I will hear you out on anything and everything else that you wish to say. But it just can't be now. And I just don't want this to escalate. And I know you do not want it to be. Article 15 and Article 12, and I'm just trying to go by the Supreme Law of the Land, which is here. Right. And it's being ignored by this administrative tribunal. Well, and I will give you an opportunity to further put that on the record at another hearing date. But again, this is my last, 
I'm really just asking you to be respectful. Come back for that next court date, and I will give you as much time as you want. I will give you the opportunity to argue everything and anything that you want to make sure is on the record. And I think that's reasonable. Then I understand justice delayed is justice denied. Is that correct? <laughs> I don't agree with that, sir. That is? I do not agree with that. You don't agree with that? No. Well, then why have you delayed this matter? This is three times you've had me arrested twice on a defective warrants, not in the not in okay, the with that lady seven. Mr. Markle, this has got to stop today. Okay. Again, I am happy to reschedule this for as much time as you want. Your all alternative is to wait until I've dealt with everyone else here today, although the prosecutor is left, so that actually would work. One party question, if I may. Certainly. Is this all being recorded? Is this a it's a it's a, a verbal recording. It is being recorded. As was the previous ones? I assume so. They normally are. So and, it, and you're welcome to ask if you wanted, if your reason for asking is because you wanted to have a copy of it, you can request that at the clerk's window as well. All right, thank okay. you very much. Right. Thank you, Mr. Markle. I appreciate your cooperation. This is a matter of state versus Sarah Williams. You did great. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that was fantastic. Great job. They were not you kidding me out of it stuff in cuff an hour ago. Are you kidding? <laughs> They would have taken me away. Yeah. So January, huh? It's the next January. Yeah. This is 23rd. 23rd. No, I'm not. And you did January 23rd, 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, I want to call that. Yeah, after lunch. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But between now and then, I'm going I'm going after the federal prosecutor. Yes. Big time. Right. And the evidence of all the That's huge. Awesome. Did you hear what she said? Yeah. That she didn't need the affidavit? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. She said she had some days or whatever. Did you see what she said? Oh, yeah. Did you not do this anymore? Yeah. And then I have to deal with the law. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad arrest me for perjury. They can. Yeah. Everything is fact. I deal in fact, not fiction. That's what she deals in fiction. They were like threatening that poor kid. He's like, don't be all thug with me. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, don't be wrong. The whole thing through with it. That was. I don't give a shit. Did you get this one? Or I should arrest me for perjury? Yeah, you had it all. Every interaction you had. Wait, you had three cameras. I had a camera, he had a camera, he had a camera. Beautiful. I'm going to put her behind that. Ah! I've never seen a judge be so That's exactly what I told you. I told That's what I told you. Title 18, you and I would have held him contempt. I think I think because of your age, you're getting some extra... In, in, your, in your status, you're a politician, so... Yeah. Yeah. I well, if I, if David or I had tried any of that, we'd have been in contempt. Oh, yeah. Contempt. I'd have been arrested, too. No doubt. Oh, Hands yeah. down. Coercion and, and you're absolutely correct. Okay, but that but that should discourage you. Yes, what you did. Somatics. Yeah, and the somatics. Yeah, the the show. Oh, I got it all right here. It'll be on the show. You were so funny. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to get all thug with me. I don't appreciate that. Freaking.com. Freaking. Yeah. That would be great. Can I have a list? We're going to have a list uh, yeah. everybody that saw this. It's all going to go in the federal court. Train them. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not following the U the New Hampshire Constitution, let alone the Fed. They never do. They never do. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.